Please welcome the Secretary General of the United Nations, Mr. Ban Ki-moon. Your Excellency, uh, Mr. Vuk Yeremich, President of the General Assembly, Your Excellency Ambassador Ron Proso, Permanent Representative of Israel uh, to the United Nations. <laughs> Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, good evening, shalom. Welcome to the United Nations, and welcome to this very special hall. There is no room like, the, like it. In this chamber, the countries of the world join together in the search, of, search for common global solutions. They gather here to advance the long-standing goals and values of peace, development, and human rights. This hall has also been the setting of many remarkable concerts. Not long ago, we hosted Stevie Wonder, who performed in celebration of the United Nations Day. Through his lyrics, Stevie Wonder reminds us of what an evening like this is all about. He has said, I quote, music is a world within itself with the language we all understand." Unquote. This evening's performer, Rita Jahan Farouz, sings in many languages and strives to reach many audiences. Rita is a world-renowned artist of Israel-Iranian heritage. She sings in both Hebrew and Persian. I understand that many have dubbed her a cultural ambassador whose music is popular in both Israel and Iran. Tonight's concert is a reminder of the magic of music to transcend cultures, build bridges, and connect people. Let that spirit inspire diplomats and leaders everywhere to work for peace, strive for solidarity, and seek global hegemony, harmony for peace, justice, and human rights for all. I thank the government of Israel and mission of, permanent mission of Israel for organizing this event. I have no doubt that this will be a memorable evening. Enjoy the show. Thank you very much. Thank you. Please welcome the President of the 67th Session of the General Assembly, Mr. Vuk Yeramij. Mr. Secretary General, Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the UN General Assembly, allow me to extend a heartfelt welcome to our House of Nations on this very special evening. I would like to start by expressing my deep appreciation to Ambassador Ron Prosnor of the State of Israel for his great efforts. He sure deserved this applause, and uh, I want to thank him for his great efforts in bringing us together for tonight's uh, special musical experience. He and I, uh, since the very beginning of my term as president, have cultivated a solid relationship based on mutual understanding and respect. 
He's been one of my most agile deputies, becoming the first Israeli diplomat to preside over the plenary in this very hall during a speech by the Prime Minister of the Jewish State. Later this year, I expect to be the first sitting President of the United Nations General Assembly to officially visit this great country. As I have done in the past, I will again go to Yad Vashem, but this time to attend a special event honoring members of my family who will be formally recognized in a few weeks in Belgrade as righteous amongst nations for sheltering Jews during the Second World War. Our bond of solidarity with the Jewish people forged during those terrible years of privation and struggle has been extended to the present day. As a direct descendant of a Dachau and Mauthausen survivor, it is a legacy I will continue to honor with reverence. Ladies and gentlemen, from the very dawn of civilization, music has been an indispensable part of human society. In the Bible, its first reference appears in the book of Genesis, where music making is named as one of mankind's three fundamental professions, together with herding and tool forging. During the Exodus, it came to be associated with a quest for liberty and national emancipation. When the generation of Moses sang joyful songs of thanksgiving to the Almighty for having parted the Red Sea, rescuing them from the clutches of Pharaoh. King David incorporated the use of music into his prayers and studies of the Torah. He also institutionalized it in the celebration of great events, such as the arrival of the Ark of the Covenant to Jerusalem. He also introduced it into the temples, liturgical, services. The voice of the cantor and the synagogues across the world is a testament to this lasting bequest. Ladies and gentlemen, music can not only bring individuals closer together, it can also help establish ties between nations. At the New Year's concert held this January in the General Assembly, the Secretary General Define music as the world's universal language. It has the power to touch the hearts of our people, he said, reminding us of our common humanity. Great music makes up ground for communication, building bridges of understanding between even the most estranged of peoples. As illustrated by the career of tonight's performer, the world-renowned Israeli-Iranian artist, Ms. Rita Yahan Farouz. Music can, indeed, cut across every boundary. I share Rita's hope that her latest album, which celebrates the songs and rhythms of her native Iran, can puncture the wall of tension between two great and proud nations. And moreover, civilizations. Her music, which transcends the purely Persian or Sephardic, may very well be understood as a powerful entreaty for reconciliation, a courageous attempt to establish a common sense of destiny between the rivals. I believe we should consider tonight's concert as an appeal for peace an imploration sung to both sides for the acrimonious divide between Iran and Israel to come down. 
Let us therefore be inspired by the performance and help foster the requisite goodwill that could one day bring to pass an era of amity in which the rattle of arms is heard no more, giving life at long last to the cherished dream of Shalom, soul, peace. I thank you very much for your attention. Please welcome His Excellency Ambassador Ron Prosor, Permanent Representative of Israel to the United Nations. Ambassadors, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor, a real honor to welcome all of you to the United Nations this evening for this historical concert. First and foremost, I'd like to thank Secretary General and Mrs. Ban for being here this evening with us. Secretary Ban may, have a spoke, may, may be soft-spoken but he always manages to make his voice heard across the globe. I would also like to thank the President of the General Assembly for joining us here tonight. He is both a personal friend and a real leader. Gentlemen, as the conductors of the United Nations 193 Peace Orchestra, you know firsthand that the music of this room isn't always harmonious. Tonight, our mission hopes to change that. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd also like to thank each and every one of you because tonight, you're helping me fulfill a lifelong dream. I always hoped that I would one day be the opening act for Rita at a major venue in New York City. Although, although I'll admit, I never expected that it would be in the form of the three tenors, Ban, Prosor, and Yeremich. <laughs> Many people are quite surprised to hear that I have a musical background. For a brief time, I was a member of an a cappella group of four Israeli ambassadors. We called ourselves the Camp David A. Chords. <laughs> These days, however, I spend far more time composing letters to the Security Council than I do composing music. Nonetheless, there are still days when people on the street mistake me for Pavarotti. I assume it's because of my tenor voice and not my size. <laughs> now, as I'm sure you're all aware, traditional UN protocol calls for polite conversation, subdued discussion, and keeping the decibel level to a bare minimum. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, you can forget all those rules. Tonight, I encourage you to get up on your feet and sing along as Rita's powerful melodies and nine-piece band shake this room to its very foundations. Our goal... Our goal is to weave a tapestry of music as rich, as diverse as the United Nations itself. Tonight, you will hear songs in three languages, in Hebrew, in Persian, and in English. You will hear some of Rita's wildest Israeli dance hits, as well as beautiful love songs based on Rita's childhood in Iran. Rita, Rita's enduring popularity, from Tel Aviv to Tehran, shows how music can transcend cultural boundaries. It demonstrates that melody, rhythm, and harmony have the power to connect people to people, even in the most difficult of circumstances. It is our sincere hope that this musical evening will echo from New York to the hearts and minds of people throughout Israel and Iran, fostering better relations, understanding, and communication between our two peoples. 
Thank you. Last but not least, I'd like to thank the people who made this vision a reality tonight, our platinum sponsor, the Nazarian Family Foundation, our gold sponsor, the Iranian-American Jewish Federation of New York, a special thanks to Sharam Yegobzada, and our silver sponsor, the United Jewish Appeal. And I'd also like to thank the Iranian-American Jewish Federation of Los Angeles as well as the UN Department of Information for helping us organizing this event. Your support serves as the amplifier for our music and our message tonight. Thank you very much. And now, ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourselves for the most unique presentation that you may ever see on the UN General Assembly stage, Rita, let's rock the house.
to be here tonight. I really hope that uh, we'll have a magical night. But first, I want to tell you about my mother, okay? Because she's the reason for my love of music and singing. I was born in Tehran when I was eight years old. And um, my father, my mother, my sisters and I lived there till I was eight. My mother has a warm, amazing voice, and we had her singing fill up our home while she was cooking or cleaning the house. She used to click her fingers to the rhythm. She used to do like this. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and, uh, and sing all the new songs. One of my earliest memories is my mother sitting on the, on the carpet, stretching her legs forward, placing a pillow on her legs and me on the pillow in front of her. She would rock me and sing lullabies that she learned from her grandmother. Two years ago, I felt this huge urge to record the Persian songs that were the soundtrack of my life, of my family life. Uh, to sing out the colorfulness of my roots. Um, and um, with all the feelings, you know, the warmth, the, 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 the pain, the love, the hardship, the flavors, the, the aromas, the stories. And during the whole recording process of this album, I couldn't stop smiling because I think I finally realized that I'm celebrating my life. Even though it was, it, it, it was far from being perfect, but I'm actually celebrating being both Israeli and Iranian a unique mixture which uh, found um, expression in the most beautiful language, the music. And uh, especially, I'm celebrating love. So my dear, dear extended family, I, I'm inviting you to celebrate it with me tonight. Thank you very much.
you. Merci. Toda. Uh, my beloved, my beloved father was a school teacher in Iran, in Tehran, and uh, he used to recite for us his daughters classical Persian poets. And one of the poems he taught me is actually a poem that uh, children uh, recite it every day, recite every day in school. I'll try to say it in Persian. Don't laugh at me, all the Persian people. My Persian is not very good. Okay? Bani Adam azade yek digaran ke az afarinesh ze yek goharan چه عضوی به درد آورد روزگار دگر عضوها را نماند قرار دگر چه از آه. چه از بله بیقری نشاید که نامت نهند آدمی بله چه از <laughs> vale. Okay, I'll translate it for you. <laughs> okay. It means that human beings are made from one living tissue. We are all part parts of of one being. And if one part of the body hurts, all other organs cannot anymore be in peace. Therefore, if you don't care about the pain for another people, of another person, you can't be called a real human being. Uh, yeah, yeah, so right, so right. Um, the lyrics of the next song is uh, R. Sorry for my English, okay? And I'm really excited, I'm very emotional. The li <laughs> yes! The lyrics of the next song are from uh, Kohelet, the book. I would like to introduce my amazing guest, Mark Eliao. Time to sing, time 
They play Iranian music amazingly. <laughs> Our conductor, Eldad Sitri, Yaron Goren, Aviv Barak, Yoni Deror, Svika Alayev. Our princess, Galia Khan. Ofer Koren, El Maestro, Big Maestro, Ariel Alayer. Shagmalim, full of the best. 
الهی من فدا فدای اون چشا میخوام اینو بدونی که نیمی را برا حالا یارون بیا دلترون بیا حالا بیل به تو درون سه سفرون بیا میام تا عطر ماه بعد باز دوباره به تنم جون بده میام تا گرمیه بوسه یه تو به تنم be able to translate everything but I would say that the, the songs that I chose are about love some of them the others well they also <laughs> about love um, basically you'll be hearing songs about love tonight but trust me though the Persian language is beautiful and rich with unique expressions for every uh, unique expressions and metaphors and it has a word for every little shade of a feeling that we experience and it's a dramatic language in Israel some say that I'm quite dramatic myself well <laughs> they haven't met my mother yet Come on. 
תביאו שישה, תביאו שבעה, תביאו שמונה ילדים, כן. זאת הבדיחה, צריכה הרבה צעירים נכבדים. תביאו את השר ולא נוחי, תביאו עשרים ילדים. אלוהים כבר נותן את השר גם כן, מה שצריכים ילדים. Thank you very much. First, uh, I would like to, to thank a few people, the, the, the ranger, uh, Ami Reis, and uh, I would like to thank Yair Goren, Ronen Najjar, Michal Lifshitz, Dudi Azulai, and Mili Kioso, and I would like really to thank uh, Roni Arditi and you who made it happen. You are a big, big dreamer. And I adore you for that, really. Only dreamers can do changes in the world. Thank you very much.
And on behalf of everyone here in the General Assembly, we want to thank you from our hearts, and you're a real ambassador, a cultural ambassador for the State of Israel, and we are really proud, proud of you. Thank you. Thank you.